Well, I'm actually really pleased that Catherine Russell, who plays Serena, is not quite as clipped and scary <laughs> in real life when you meet her. Because um, she has a brilliant business brain as well, doesn't she? But yeah. a heart of gold. Heart of gold, which doesn't reach the surface as often as we would like to think. Yeah. yeah. But she does. Yeah, she does everything for the right reasons. And you oh. only went in for a year. I know. <laughs> I know. Five but a year later. goes like that when you're yes. when you're when you're there i don't know why i think it's because everyone's so so i know we always say that when we but they are so lovely mm. that the time just flies by flies by so this is this is a real test for her uh, as as a human really because obviously her, her daughter's died of a brain hemorrhage after this car crash and she has as a way of grieving has kind of pinned the blame of this on to jasmine and it seems like almost as, as her way of grieving is to go back in and train and i say yeah. train in the loosest sense because it starts off as training and gets a whole lot darker yeah to train to train jasmine into not making that mistake that she sees as a mistake again that's exactly right yes she thinks that it's jasmine's fault which it kind of isn't and she's a very young doctor but she did miss one tiny uh, symptom and so Serena has taken it upon herself to make sure that she never does that again mm. and this is gonna get quite dark I mean it's it gets very dark and then it, it goes further it gets than twisted that. and we just hope that people will remember that it's because she's grieving because obviously you know we expect our parents to die it's tragic when they do mm. but the other way around it's not supposed to happen to us. No. Is it? I mean, it's so dark that you've, you've sort of apologised to your fans. Well, yes. Where this is going to go. Well, I sort of do, and but I hope that they do remember that that her daughter died. Yeah. It doesn't really get much darker than that for but any of us. you've had a lot of support. I've had a lot of support, yes. The Barina fans are lovely to me. <laughs> yes, they, this Barina, <laughs> hashtag Barina came up straight away, didn't it? As soon as, as soon as the affair kind of began from that first kiss, everybody sort of clocked on that. And th this is a very popular relationship between the two of them. Well, actually, it, it happened the, almost the minute we were on screen together. And it was a good, I think, six months with the hot, are they going to, are they not? And they clocked it right from the word go, I have to say. But then if you don't have representation, which is a lesbian you don't, <laughs> then to be on yeah. primetime television and to see yourself is, is, is occasion to hang out the bunting, light a sparkler and shout hurrah yeah. at yeah. last. Yeah, yeah. You know. no, good point, good point. And we mentioned in the link at the beginning, uh, it's about hanging up the stethoscope. It is thankfully only temporary, isn't it, that you're going into the theatre? Yes. So you are going to go back? I hope so. Yeah, so yes, you're on a sabbatical. I'm on a sabbatical to go and... Uh, do a play. I haven't been on stage for five and a half years, so I'm slightly nervous. But you are, you are genuinely terrified about it. I am. I, I am. But well, and, and excited in equal measure because it's Joe Wharton. It's the 50th year since his death, tragically. Um, and what the butler saw is the most extraordinary play I have ever worked on. I kid you not. It's, well, it's fast. It's a fast and which I had never is done. Tough. It's tough and technical, and who's going to come through that door when? Who's got their clothes off? Is it my time to take my dress off? Oh, no, it's you. Who's wearing the wig? Oh, gosh. You know, it, it, it's so try, trying to get so that right. a lot can right. go wrong, I guess. Don't say no, that. No, I'm sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, but, yeah, yes, a lot can go wrong, but it is, it is bonkers and very funny. But lovely to be able to do that, to be able to be in Holby for five years and then to be able to take these little breaks and do something that's a bit of a passion project, something yeah. you love, yeah. feel what it's like to be back in the theatre again and then to be able to go back. It's yes, I mean, the producers are delighted. I'm sure if I'd only been there a year and said, could I have a sabbatical, sure. they would have gone, <laughs> yeah, jog on. But five years of, of playing the same part, I never thought in a million years I would be happy playing the same part, but I have been. Mm. But to now to be able to go back into the theatre and be in this extraordinary play at a wonderful theatre, the Curve Theatre in Leicester, which is a beautiful, big theatre. So we need them to come in, we need the bums on seats. Because to mm. do a gag and hear nobody laughing at Tumbleweed. Yes. Nobody <laughs> likes tumbleweed. Nobody, nobody likes to do that and hear, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. scary. <laughs> I'm sure that won't happen. Yeah. Are the things that stick in your head, you know, sort of oh, long FBCs, things that stick? FBCs, LFTs, all of that, when you list bloods, you know, because that comes up quite often. And the prosthetics are very real. You're not squeamish or anything. I'm not at all squeamish. Oh, thank goodness for that, because I mean, I'm like that oh, But bit. I think having children helps, because, you know, they, they're, they're sick and, and, and they bleed and they poo, and you, and you just you get on with it, with don't it. you? You get on with it. So I think that helps. We have had the odd direct director who has been very squeamish and, and they, they, oh, really? they watch like this which is it's hilarious. never good when the director's like that. When they, you know, no, you've no. done the wrong Mind job. You, ours is like that all the time. <laughs> 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 Sorry.